Coming up on Around Kern County, the Board of Supervisors has proclaimed February as Safely Surrendered Baby Awareness Month. We're sharing details on this important campaign and how you can get involved. And the Kern County Fire Department has reached new agreements with nearly all contracted cities for fire protection duties. What this means for the department when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. We're starting today with some good news for the Kern County Fire Department. During this week's Board of Supervisors meeting, KCFD reached 100% cost recovery agreements with nearly all of its contracted cities for fire protection duties and state fire marshal regulations. This means an additional $6.8 million annually will flow into KCFD, supporting the department's efforts in providing essential services to residents. Back in 2018, a study by the Center for Public Safety Management found our fire department was not being fully compensated for their fire protection duties in these contracted cities. Now, with these new contracts, KCFD will be able to continue to keep residents safe with adequate resources. KCFD has a long history of providing high quality services to these communities and is grateful for the opportunity to continue to do so through these important partnerships. Being in the community is just what we do. We look at ourselves as uh, community leaders. We look at as ourselves as pillars and uh, critical infrastructure. So being in our communities is important and this is just gonna keep us there for the future. It's uh, getting us on par to be able to fully recover our, our cost to provide service to the contract cities. This revenue is gonna help us replace our fire stations, upgrade, maintain them. We also have an aging fleet of fire engines. So this revenue is gonna allow us to buy new equipment and provide the best safety equipment to our firefighters and our community. Uh, being a firefighter is an honor. It's an honor to serve Kern County. Um, our firefighters are the best firefighters in the state and in the nation. Uh, we are ready, we're trained, and we will take care of you. So far, updated contracts have been reached with Arvin, Delano, McFarland, Ridgecrest, Shafter, Taft, Tehachapi, and Wasco. Also during this week's board meeting, supervisors declared February as Safely Surrendered Baby Awareness Month in Kern County. This campaign is spearheaded by our Department of Human Services and spread throughout the county by local organizations and community partners. The Safely Surrendered Baby Law helps newborn infants at risk of abandonment by encouraging parents or those in lawful custody to safely surrender their baby within 72 hours after birth, no questions asked. And uh, I remember the days when uh, we didn't have an outlet like, like this for parents and you think about the difference that those 90 children have made in the lives of families who may not have had a child or added the child uh, to expand their family and what great love the mother had in releasing that baby and what incredible uh, opportunities that child has moving forward in life and blessing the family that they went to. Throughout Kern County, a newborn baby can be safely surrendered into the hands of any hospital emergency room or fire station staff. Here in Kern County, 90 babies have been safely surrendered and placed into loving homes. Are you looking for a way to serve our community? Whether you're interested in a sworn or civilian position, the Kern County Sheriff's Office has a career opportunity for you. Right now, you can visit their website, kernsheriff.org, to learn what it's like to work in the communications center as a dispatcher, a detentions deputy in the jails, a deputy sheriff on patrol, or a sheriff's aide or support tech. To view all current job openings or to apply, please visit governmentjobs.com slash careers slash Kern Co. And if you have any questions about these open positions, please email KCSO recruitment at kernsheriff.org. The Kern County Library is continuing to reopen its doors across our community. This week, the McFarland Branch Library reopened to local readers. Residents can enjoy this location every Thursday and Friday from 11 in the morning until 6 in the evening. 
As a reminder, the library's digital collection remains available to all Kern County residents, which includes e-books, e-audio books, streaming content, and more. Just visit kerncountylibrary.org slash elibrary for more information. And we're ending today with movies. Did you know Kern County has a film commission and famous flicks have been made right here in our own backyard. From Star Wars to Iron Man to Jurassic Park, our landscape has set the scene for some pretty big hits. If you're looking to film a movie in Kern County, you can fill out a film permit on our newly renovated website. And did we mention it's all free? You can also fill out a location agreement if you have some local property you think would make a great set. Just visit our countywide communications website for more information. That link is there on your screen. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our submit a story form. We'll see you right back here next week.